All right, we are back. We are back. So, this entanglement, this entanglement, this entanglement. Ray, you're uh. Yes. You're, you're going to be the one to roll this entanglement. Mm -hmm. So I have decided that it would make sense for this entanglement to be based either on your relationship with the church or with the Jovangelians because the March of Saints and the Shade Spear Squad are the two most relevant squads at the moment. Yeah. So, and you have the same, you have a similar relationship with both, which means that you're going to be rolling on table B and you roll zero, or sorry, you roll three dice minus your squad's relationship with your patron faction. Your relationship with the church is minus one. Uh, so we're rolling four? Correct. Roll uh, four dice on table B. I don't have table B open. Someone's gonna have I, to I have it open. Don't worry. Well, that's a double six. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can't crit entanglements. Uh -huh. Thanks, God. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, six on table B is requisition. A cohort, squad upgrade, or acquired Bears. asset is requisitioned by another squad. Give up the item, take plus two trust with that squad's patron faction, bribe the caller with cash equal to your tier plus three, try to hide the object or fight back and lose one status with that squad and their faction. If you don't have any cohorts, upgrades, or assets, you must select an option other than giving up the item as the caller doesn't believe you don't have it. So, what do y'all have that someone might want? Let's see. Um, hmm. Oh, yeah, okay, I know what it is. So, you get, you get an AR message that wakes you up, Dredge, and it's from Harlan Smythe, and, oh, no. and he says, hey, uh, so we're going to need those documents that you have. Uh, documents? Yeah, yeah, the ones that you've been using to access the uh, the information in the facility. Uh, we're gonna need those. Oh, those are super compromised, bud. You're not gonna. I mean, you can have them. Like here, here, here are those. But you're not gonna get very far with them. No, I want the ones that you went back and got the fixed. The 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 second set you got that aren't compromised. They're also pretty limited. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna need those. I mean, if are you do you want to try and hide the object or fight back, or do uh, you want to bribe him with tier plus three cash, which would be four cash? I'm positive we don't have that. Um, I mean, if <laughs> Pitchfork has it alone. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, appreciate you, Pitchfork. <laughs> I guess, but how much does Pitchfork love and appreciate? That's just the question. <laughs> it's always the question. <laughs> you could also pool your money. I don't know if anyone else has cash. I have literally just zero cash on Is this me. the difference between Pitchfork and Scarecrow? Pitchfork is working towards retirement. Scarecrow is going to die on the job. Uh, yeah, that's how it be. Pitchfork has three scars. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so it sounds like Pitchfork's not coughing up the money. Uh, no. I don't okay. have money to cough up. <laughs> um, sorry. You, I... you still have three supply points, so Pitchfork kicked in one cash. That would be enough. I, I would do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so is that what y'all want to do? You want to just be like, just... Take this money and go away. <laughs> Harlan Smythe, you fuckboy. That's a very us answer, I think. 
Or is this the, uh... Well, here, here's the thing. You did say earlier, Ray, that if anyone was going to break the truce between you and the Shade Spear, it was going to be Tower. And fighting back is one of the options. I can try to lie. I did take Reckless! <laughs> But I also just did fix shit with Dredge. Uh, and I don't want to fuck that over. Um, quite so smooth. So. I mean, I think <laughs> what if it is that you think everything's good and so that you, like, aren't tiptoeing ar around Core now? I'm not gonna do that because I, I like Tower. <laughs> Fair. Um, Listen, if we want to try and lie, then then we can try and lie. Um, but none of us- we lost our gay that can talk. I've got a- I've got a point. <laughs> I can't help you! <laughs> I have two in consort, I could just like- I, I don't know. I can't help because I have still have that heat stress that I have to say. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Didn't you heal too? I did, and then I spent it to get the um, work hard, play hard immediately. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Here's the thing: um, if we if we spend the cash here, then I can't recoup any of that anyway. So I think it's worth the risk. Yeah, I think we. I think we. I'm down for lying. I'm down for lying. Okay, so Dredge, you're just gonna be like, no, we don't have it. We, um, you don't want this. It's no good. It is any good. <laughs> it's not good. It's, I'm not lying um, at all. This is all. This is all factual. Um, I guess the <clears throat> the thing I'm trying to, to Im imply is that like when you you okay, say you take these documents. <clears throat> And you and and you go down to, to the supply level. Uh, even if you like control F uh, uh, C Bellevue and replace it with your own name, they'll already know, they, they still know it's 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 compromised. Even if you like try to scrub it loose, and it, it, if you scrub it loose, then it loses the the, the thing that makes it useful in the first place. Um, so you can like you can you could probably get uh, the coffee machine to work with it. Uh, that's what I did earlier today. That's basically all you can do with it. Also, just like based on previous experience, like those things compromise quick, real quick. Like that that the first one we had got us about an hour or two. Honestly, um, you're gonna have a, a better chance of, of going up to, to administration yourself and just getting a new one. So, mechanically, what is happening here is they're trying to take your improved documents uh, squad upgrade. Yikes! Yeah, no, no. I'm gonna lie for that. Yeah, no! Okay, so give me that sway roll. I mean, although what we could do is just let them take it and then go back up and use our floating advance to get back our improved documents. <laughs> <laughs> Do that. You you could because your floating advance does get you two upgrades. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, that's really good though. <laughs> like just give it to them, and then just like go back upstairs, and, like come back with three different passes. You're muted. Uh. Um. So that is also an option. I will say. God, that's so funny. And just like while we're up there, get a cool like gun or whatever, so we get improved weapons or whatever. Mm -hmm. Just like pick up some other cool supplies. Um, so that is also an option. Hello, cat. So, you gonna you gonna lie to him, or you gonna hand it over and then <laughs> go and get a new one? Man, that's the sure bet. And also. The, mm, I don't like handing that to, to them uh, because of clocks. Because of clocks, mostly. Um, but we could, try to, we could try to just like use it for a bunch of little shit and see if it uh, compromises, and then give it to them and get a new one. 
Yeah. Just like fuck with it. Or just like use it for embarrassing shit. Just to fuck with them. <laughs> Ruin the browser like, history of this ID? Yeah, yeah. Thank you for your subscription to Big Butts 4. <laughs> yeah, just like subscribe them to a bunch of shit. <laughs> it's like a lot of like PTA meeting, like mailing lists and shit. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Like yeah, whatever the. Can I, I can I sabotage this thing before I give it them? Give it to give it to them. I mean, that's fighting back. Okay, that's fair. Hmm. <laughs> That, that is, like, not quite literally spitting in their face, right? Sure. I will also say, clocks filling is sometimes just fun and interesting. Okay. Yeah, let's just give it- let's just fucking give it to them and then grab better d We're documents. We're also in desperate need of trust. Yeah. Okay. Right, yeah. So you, you hand those over and he's like, Much appreciated. I'll, uh, be sure to fix them up for ourselves. Uh, and we'll just, like, go back upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that will actually uh, increase your relationship with the Jovengelians by one level. So now you're at minus one w relationship with the Jovengelian Empire. Yay! So Competence. Yeah, and uh, since you are going to be spending that floating advance, you're going to spend one on the improved documents. What do you want to spend your other upgrade on is everyone okay with this by the way i know i kind of just like barrel i'm forward good with on this pitchfork doesn't care <laughs> yeah fair i i i'm mm, i'm also just gonna point out none of y'all none, none of y'all decided to consult with the person who knows harlan <laughs> <laughs> pitchfork has one foot out in retirement pitchfork does not care <laughs> So where I'm done with that life? Where is this other uh, quality, or is is it going into pilot weapons or vehicle weapons? I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know that it's necessarily going into weapons. I just said weapons off the cuff because ah, um, I don't know. Like, I just I mean, improved supplies do. Uh. It, like, improves whatever has the little supplies next to it. So, like, subterfuge supplies. Um, oh, approved. Yeah. My vote is for gear, because there are a lot of gear items. Um, but, you know. Implements. That should be programs. That's an... Ah. Um, but if everyone's okay with gear, that's my vote. Like, mm, I guess, yeah. Yeah, I don't have any complaints. Okay, everyone okay? <laughs> what if we got camouflage, though? What if we... Mm, those are only for our vehicles, is the only issue. Okay. Actually, no, fuck it, let's do it, fuck it. Vehicle stuff? What are we let's getting? Let's get camouflage. Uh, yeah. uh, the squad's vehicles are perfectly concealed when at rest. They blend in as part of the environment or as an un uninteresting civilian vehicle, your choice. This is a, this is, Reese is all over that? Yeah, <laughs> my, my vehicle gear already has fine optical camo, so it's just, just an invisible truck. <laughs> uh, just a moment, everyone, I'll be right back. Okay. Our city now. Our city now. Uh, <laughs> Woo! Anarchy! Anarchy! Wow. Anarchy! Nothing. Mm hmm. That's very long. Yeah. Okay. We totally weren't building a guillotine. What are you talking about? <laughs> so, you're taking camouflage. Yeah. If that's amenable. Yeah, that's fine. So, I guess you find something down in R&D, which, uh works for this purpose that you install in all of your vehicles. Yeah. I'm good with that if y'all are. I'm totally fine with that. I think it's probably some kind of like uh, 
close form hollow projector. So that that is like it's it's slow to adapt. Like actually no, it it it's not adaptive camouflage. That's for sure. It is like if you as it says, if your vehicle is at rest, you can blend in with like your surroundings as something suitable. It's got programs for like shipping containers and small buildings and various types of civilian vehicles, as it says. So there you go. You all have camouflage now. Good shit. See, I, 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 I like that idea just because the Mantis is such an unusual size for Navi, so I'm just picturing the Mantis being like a phone booth or something. Oh, I like that. <laughs> or like just like a telephone pole. Or whatever the equivalent is. <sighs> okay. So that's that handled. Does anyone have any downtime activities they want to do? Because I think everyone's spent their free ones. Um, let's see. I did a cut loose. I think I only did a cut loose, actually. I think I have one left. Um, sorry, just a question. I think our sheet's fucked up. Um... Right now it says composed uh, for the upgrade on our squad sheet. Oh yeah, that I think that should be something else. I think that sh sh uh, I I will check. I mean, composed will be a welcome gift, but like I don't think that's what it is. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll check that. Sorry, I just no 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 need to apologize. Definitely want to give. Um, Reliable is what y'all should have there, not composed. Yeet. Uh, definitely want to give Jess uh, her her turn. Um, I yeah. would yeah. also like to cut those. Okay. Um, real fast. First things. I have my belief for tower. Okay. Uh, last cut loose. I'm glad tower isn't like me. I hope it stays that way. Oh. <sighs> okay. Oh, that's making me sad about Tower's belief for her now. Uh, which, I will remind you, uh, is... Um, Riza came in to replace Hera, but she's only continuing his legacy. Uh, um, I am I indulging that himself. That's true. And I have no regrets. God. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm actually not sure what to do for my last one because, um, so our supply, can that be material points? Because I've looked at how to um, undeclare load slots. Yes. And I think considering R&D and manufacturing, we have the facilities to take care of that. Um, so if we have two material, I'd like to spend that to unjunk or I guess undeclare my magnification suite and drone carrier. Yeah. Um, so do we have a consensus to do that? No fast, because I think... I mean, like, I gotta talk to um, Sasha because you have the supply in hand, basically. Uh, sorry, what was the... I'm sorry, what was the plan? Do we have to... We have supply. I'm not sure exactly what we have accessible, but uh, we have can three. that be up to two material? And can I spend up to two material? Yes, you can. Okay, excellent. In that case, I will undeclare my magnification suite and drone carrier. Cool. Um, but that does not take an action, according to the book. And I don't know what to do with my last action. I really don't. Um, does anyone have uh, a lot of quirks they want to get refreshed? Because, like, I only have one quirk to refresh, so, like, I could do that. I I'm might. Just, like, I, I can't cut loose. I've got only two stress, so that's the only thing I can think of doing right now. You could train. That would get you XP. You know, I, I don't want to train. Nothing's close enough. And, like, honestly, I, I, I feel like I fall back on that a lot in downtime sessions. That's what it's there for. And I know, I know. It, I, I, I just feel like it doesn't make sense for kind of the fictional positioning. It's like, yeah, we're kind of loosening up and doing things, but I think Riza is also kind of, like, tense about things. I think, like, Working, I, I think training is something that's important in her life and something that she routinely comes back to, but I don't think she's like comfortable or secure enough in this location to really do that. I think that's a like 
a safety at home thing. Mm. So I guess I'll, unless I can do something to help someone else, um, I think I'm just gonna fix my um, quirks, which since I only have one, it's a, it's a gimme. That'll also cost one material point. Oh, mm. You could salvage. There's lots of stuff down here to take apart if you wanted to do that. You could schmooze and try and increase your relationship by chatting with Harlan or the Shade Spear. Oh. You could mm. you could work towards upgrading uh, the Karasu. Mm. Which would cost a materiel. And if you have any long-term projects you can think of, you could do that. Hmm. Okay. I think I have a long-term project I would like to start. And I only have this kind of vaguely defined in my mind right now, but I think... I think basically she wants to take the whole born identity scrub thing a step further, because clearly it has not worked. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, so what's your goal with this? I think to secure whatever info leak, to, to discover and secure whatever info leak Harlan used to find her. Okay, so tie up loose ends. Yeah. Okay. Um, so put that into your long-term projects. Uh, I think that'll be an eight tick project. Okay, and what do I roll for this? That depends. How are you trying to tie up those loose ends? Where do you start? Because you roll whatever action is most relevant. Okay. Um, so I have, I have two cases to make here. Um, I think the obvious one is Prowl. Is, you know, knowing how to be stealthy, what information to leave behind. Just, you know, digital and informational tracks instead of physical ones. Um, the other argument I could make is Hunt is using the reverse side of that. Like, if I wanted to track someone down, if I wanted to track someone across great distances in time, how would I do that? What would I be looking for? What, you know, tra what tracks would I be leaving and how could I, you know, to work backwards from a attacking solution? Yeah. I think... I think that the, the first possibility is actually more of a study because you're like looking over your history, retracing your step, steps, okay, so to speak. Um, That's weird. Yeah. And, and if you want to try and track down someone, I think Hunt would work. Um, the question becomes, does that work for, like, the looking at methodologies that are being used on you to re try and figure stuff out? Because if not, then it's study, and then that's... Yeah, I think Hunt would be more of, like, if you're trying to find Harlan's source directly, as opposed to trying to backtrack. Hmm... Uh, I don't like either of these options. Like, uh, I guess I'll just do a study. It'll, it'll be a shitty roll, but whatever. Yeah. Okay. So roll your study of zero. So that's two d six. Take low. Yep. I'll take a two. Okay, so add one tick to your long-term project clock. Okay, done. All right. So, yeah, I guess that's uh, Scarecrow just thinking real hard about how she made her exit from Jovangelian society and where she might have... what she might have left behind to tip him off. Yep. Okay. 
I think with a one tick, you don't really, you haven't really come to anything conclusive. Yeah. Not yet. Does anyone have any other downtime things they want to do? I would like to cut loose with Fishwork. All right. All right. Mostly because uh, you're the only other person with enough stress to justify that. <laughs> um, and also, it would, be, it would be good to have a bond again. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, spend your cash to uh, get that additional downtime activity. Uh, that's the last one. And it's time for Dredge to work hard, play hard once again. Yeah. Um, hmm. What do the two of you get up to? It's a fine question. I think. Well, I mean. Uh, Got a sprained ankle, unfortunately. Yeah, not a, not a lot of jousting. I think we'll get up to. Um, hmm. Well, what what down here is interesting to to Pitchfork? Uh Hmm. I mean, like, the immediate answer is not that much because, like, she wants to be above ground and not down here. <laughs> but, um... There's, is it, poss there's, is it possible to take a day trip? Like, just up for a bit? Oh. You, you could do that. I mean, don't know how, how much time you want to spend in the broken bank with the apps and all, but... Yeah, there's also that. Um... <laughs> We can head to the clinic. That's that's still safe as far as I know. Yeah, that's true. You could go hang yeah. out at the clinic. Yeah, actually, yeah, let's do that. Yeah. I think it's it's um. I, I'm I'm clearly not there very often because <laughs> I'm I have a different job. Um, but I think that there is a uh, a, a measure of automation that happens there. There's like a couple of apps that have been set up. Um, no, nothing like really complex just like um things to, to give incoming um patients a, a direction to where to go to like to to go to these different stations and like get uh an antivirus run on them and like clean them uh do, do like a, a a a reboot or a scrub back to um back to a safe point um. cool so how are the two of you cutting loose here at this uh, <laughs> at this clinic? Also, I think the first time the two of you cut loose was Dredge taking Pitchfork up to the uh, Doctors Beyond Stars ship in orbit to help out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I, I like the idea of, of like coming up ostensibly to to get some paperwork done um, and and being like hey do you want to do you want to go for a, like a just like a real light walk um, <laughs> over to the to the bank uh, and then um, what's a what's it what's a um, an AR what's a proxy that catches your attention here uh he is a middle-aged like really tall lanky proxy of a dude with like long hair and a really long beard And, uh, I... I think he looks sort of like he's wearing more, like, farmer clothing, like, stuff that, stuff that Pitchfork would wear while she's working and, like, he's like, huh, that's odd to see here. Hmm. That is odd. Is that like a... A Hollington thing, and, and and like Dredge is asking that. I think. Maybe I 
don't... I feel like I would remember someone like that, though, if I've been there the whole time, unless this one's real old, I guess. Could be. Yeah. My also, uh, a thing that sometimes happens with, uh, with AR, with proxies, is um, they kind of take... Uh, or like you, you can you could do this with your own pro proxy, really, where you, you kind of um, fabricate. You take your own memories and you fabricate something new out of them. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes. Something new. Yeah. That's odd, though. I kind of, kind kind of weird to have a a, a Hollandon uh, <laughs> proxy out, out this far. Wonder how we got here. Same way we did, I guess, by walking. <laughs> I hope. I hope that doesn't. Doesn't what? Never mind. All right. Uh, do you wanna do you wanna bring it back to the to the chapel with us when we go back? I mean. Yeah, I I like that. Cool. Co uh, makes a, a note um, to do so. Like, I'm just about done with the paperwork here. Um, I, I, I reckon Co left you at like a, a desk with like just sort of a, a, a rolly chair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like a kid going into the parents' office. <laughs> that, I was about to say that is the exact vibe I'm getting. It's one of those things where like Co like didn't didn't think this completely through, and then like when we when when we got here was like oh I should not be making you work. You need to be right on on full rest as as much as you can. So it was just like a fucking look. We got minesweeper. We got pinball. It's all good. <laughs> My dad's office had an N sixty four with Ocarina of Time. Oh, that that rules. <laughs> That's what was I did awesome. when I was in the office. Yeah, my, my dad's uh, co-worker had, um, it was like a, a, a DS with a bunch of pirated games on it oh that God. he would let me play. Oh my uh, God. <laughs> great. <laughs> my dad had a, a, like, the shittiest laptop you can imagine, and I played Stunt Island on that for hours. I remember going into my dad's office and playing Harry Potter Flash games. <laughs> um... <laughs> That's like my distinct memory from that. And playing su playing Super Mario on his co co-worker's DS and uh, Harry Potter Flash games on a giant fucking monitor. That's extremely <laughs> on brand. That's very on brand. <laughs> yeah. Is there more to this scene? Do you play any Harry Potter Flash games? <laughs> yeah, what kind of games are all these computers? <laughs> You're the one who <laughs> built fine. them. Yeah, but like, hmm, what is on them? Um, probably a lot of like abandoned wear, I think. <laughs> like half of them don't work. Okay, so let's uh, let's get that. Zero dice stress relief. Oh no! Like, fuck shit! God damn it! Oh. Six take lower, please. That's a, th that's a three. I'll take a three. The, that, that's six though. That six taunts me. Yeah. We had multiple sixes where the six isn't. Actually, no. This is a six where the six would have been good. Is it? Uh. Wait. Do I roll also, or is it like? Yeah, you also get to roll your. Number of dice with uh, equal to your connection 
with dredge. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So, Pitchfork, you do not get another connection. Dredge, you do. Right. Do you know what your belief is? Uh... Something to to the effect of um, of uh, if she doesn't get out of this life now, she's gonna burn out bad. So that's a good place to start, and you can refine it when you need to. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are there any other? downtime activities that anyone wants to bum cash off of Pitchfork for? <laughs> I'm good. I thought we still had party cash because we didn't bribe them. No, uh, we used that. Um, uh, uh, did we? Yes, we did. I used oh. it. I used one to, um, to cut loose and Jess used two to um, prepare oh, yeah. or un unjunk stuff. Unjunk, yeah. Yes. yeah. Undeclare. I see. Yeah. So, Pitchfork, Miss uh, Queen of the Cash, are you going to do anything with it, or is this the end of the session? She, she has to at least get one bar. She <laughs> has to. <laughs> she has to fill out one bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh. why, don't you, why don't you move that cash into savings? In case something happens, and I also forgot to last time, I think, probably, but... Yeah. That's how it be. Okay, so... I think that's the end of the session, then. I... Oh. Chess, did you have something else? No, but I think so. I was agreeing uh, with you. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, let's go back to the talk screen and do XP. So, for the squad, did you execute a successful delivery or acquire new clients or contraband sources? No. Did you face off against challenges above your pay grade? Me. Each other. We just. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Oh, tell, me, tell me who here is, is, is higher tier than the rest. Please, Ray, <laughs> answer me this question. I'm not saying we're higher tier, I'm just saying this is above our pay grade. <laughs> <laughs> dealing with each I mean, other. <laughs> you, 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 some of the shit we're doing. I'm not paid have... to do HR. I'm not paid to do HR. <laughs> Pay me to do HR. Exactly. Okay. Did you bolster your squad's reputation or develop a new one? Um. Mm, duplicitous, mm. maybe. Like we we pulled some shit, but not really. Not really. No. Did you express Wait, is the, the the proxy thing count or is that not does that not count until we bring merciful. them back? Yeah, I don't I think I don't think that you can just point at Dredge's clinic every session and go, that's an XP. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean if you do something a bit more involved with it, then sure, but just go yeah, I'm just was supposed to automatically like, produce XP. <laughs> I was like, when you say point at the clinic, like I'm picturing the squad like anthropomorphized as like a five year old kid like tugging on your arm. It's like clinic, clinic. <laughs> That's how it be. Yeah. So did you express the goals, drives, inner conflict, or essential nature of the squad? I think there's a touch of inner conflict. And a touch of essential nature, I'd say. Like, I just think we're we're just we're just like this. <laughs> we're just we we're we're just the way we are. We're I don't know that, that the gestalt is really what gets us there. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so take an XP for that. <laughs> All right, Tower. Did you address a challenge with Blue. stealth or evasion? Uh, I didn't address a challenge with it. Yeah. Did you express your is history, tragedy, or opening? I I was bad at certain drinks, um, which is, you know, 
a thing, I guess. I don't know. Okay, take an XP. That is related okay. to your opening. Did you struggle because of your beliefs, scars, or quirks? I, I mean, I, I was, like, reckless with the whole cutting loose thing, but I don't think it's, like, really struggling with it. Yeah, I think if you had fought back, then that would have yeah. given you the XP. But Yeah. So just one XP. Yep. Okay, Dredge. Did you address a challenge with technical skill or mayhem? Did a lot of technical skill, to be fair. Uh, doctoring takes a degree. <laughs> okay, take... Take two XP for that. You did uh, heal everybody. Thank you. <laughs> uh, did you express your history, tragedy, or opening? Um, uh, obliquely. We'll, we'll see if, if it counts um, with uh, with my new bond with Riza. Um, uh, in in relation to Diamond East Station. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. Take an XP for that. And did you struggle because of your beliefs, scars, or quirks? Not, not so much, I don't think. Okay. So, next up, Scarecrow. Did you address a challenge with tracking or violence? Mm, I'm gonna say no. Did you express your history, tragedy, or opening? History and tragedy. Yeah, take two XP. Did you struggle because of your beliefs, scars, or character? Um. I need to think about this for a second. Beliefs, scars, or character. I'm gonna say no, but I'm a little borderline. But I'm gonna say no. What What are you thinking? I'm just thinking, it's not, like, nothing specific. There's just this kind of generalized tension. Okay. All and, right. like, if, if, if it's specific, I can point to, which is why I'm saying no. Okay. And Pitchfork. Did you address a challenge with violence or coercion? No. Did you express your history, tragedy, or opening? Uh, history slash opening. One for that, yeah, I think, with the proxy. Okay, yeah, take your one XP. And did you struggle because of your beliefs, scars, or quirks? Uh, no. 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 All right, then. So, that is the end of the session. Uh, oh, Dredge, I saw that you filled your playbook XP do you have an idea of what you want to do with that at this time, or do you need to think about it? I have no idea. Okay. In that case, we're going to go to the outro. Thank you, everyone, so much for joining us on this uh, booze-filled downtime period. <laughs> I've been your host and GM, Austin Ramsey. I'm also the creator of Beam Saber. You can find me on Twitter at NotAnIn, and you can find my design work, including Beam Saber, at austin-ramsey.itch.io. Uh, this stream, as always, is presented by You Don't Meet in an Inn, an actual play podcast about exploring obscure tabletop role-playing games with a diverse, rotating cast. This evening, I have been joined by Takuma. Hey, I've been Takuma. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Takuma underscore Okada underscore. Um, and I have games and some music, including a Beam Saber inspired song, at noroadhome.itch.io. Awesome, thank you. Also joining us is Ray. Hi, I am Ray. You can find me on Twitter at RayRayTheGayGay or my games at uh, rainthefog.itch.io. Thank you. And also with us is Jess. Hey guys, I'm Jess. You guys can follow me on Twitter and Twitch.tv at um, Quasinim. And you can also follow my podcast, um, The Movie More, your premier movie autopsy podcast, at uh, Movie More Cast on Twitter or wherever good, IT, wherever good podcasts are sold. Do not buy podcasts. That's not how this works. <laughs> Unless it's a paid podcast and then pay them. We do have bonus episodes, but that's a different thing. Patreon.com slash Quasinim. <laughs> Very good. Uh, 
<laughs> and last but never least, we have Sasha. Hi, I've been Sasha. You can follow me on Twitter at Sasha underscore right now. Uh, you, can, you can find my game dev stuff at tcabbage and all of my games <clears throat> at 22to22.itch.io um, and listen to Spin the Wheel Stories. And that's all. That's everything. All right. Thank you very much. And thank you, everyone, once again for being here this evening. We will be back again uh, probably next week, same time, Tuesday at 6 p.m. EST. But until then, I just want to remind everyone that you should fight the war and not the soldiers. See you later.